Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Jen, back at my channel. Today um, I have a little different of a video. I've never done one of these before, but it's a haul, as people like to call them. Um, these are some of my favorite videos to watch because I think it's really interesting to see what everybody buys because I think there's just a general curiosity in that. So, and it gives you good ideas of what to buy when you want to go to the mall or wherever next. Which they're actually dangerous because I feel like I watch them and I'm like, ooh, I need that. But I've been pretty good. Um, I didn't do much shopping this summer because I was so busy with school that I didn't have a job. But now that I'm working again and getting a steady paycheck, I kind of spent my whole first one. So, um, I got some stuff from Ulta, from Walgreens, and oh, I did a big Bath & Body Works order. Because it was their full time stuff that came out and they were having really good sales and I was just like, doing it. Committed. Um, I think I'll start with the makeup. I ordered a, uh, box, a box. I ordered stuff from Ulta online. There is an Ulta where I live, but it's kind of far away and a hec hectic drive. So, I figured I would just buy the stuff online. And the reason I made the purchase was they were having their, um month of September sale deals and they had some really good deals. A lot of stuff was half off. One of them and the one I had my eye on all September and it was like the last week of September that it finally was available was the Urban Decay Naked Skin. Um, this originally retails for I think $40, almost $40, maybe $38 and I got it for $17 which I feel like you can't even get a drugstore foundation or I guess this is technically a BB cream for that much so I was super impressed and I had to get it. I got it in light. I really like this. It's really, really light on the skin. Again, it's a BB cream, not a full cover foundation by any means. I like to wear a full face of makeup every day when I work, so this is a really good alternative if my skin needs a little help. So secondly, um, my biggest purchase from Ulta was the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I got mine in dark brown. Um, this is one of the most talked about products ever probably uh, in the beauty community and I at first I was like I don't know if I really like it I've had this stuff for about a week I'd say and but um I've played around with it a bit more and I actually really do like it I was you can hear my dog Brody please excuse that I'm sorry he people walk by and he freaks out he's a schnauzer and they're really territorial so Pardon that. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Usually I use a MAC powder on my brows, which works great too, I've liked, but I just want to try something new, and I've never tried an eyebrow pencil, and I really, really like this. I think it does a really good job, and it's really thin, it has a really thin applicator, so it's easy to fill in any gap. I got a few more things that were buy one get one half off. It was just like random drugstore brands. They do pretty good deals with that. I really needed a new mascara, and I think Rimmel makes really good ones. I really lean towards theirs, and they were buy one get one half off any eye makeup from Rimmel, I believe. And so I picked up Scandalize Show Off. Uh, the brush really reminds me of Benefit's Their Real Lashes. What? Benefit Their Real Mascara. That's what I meant. Um, it has that similar like ball at the end, and it's really like silicone spiky. I really wanted to try the new one that they just put out, and it's the Scandalized Rockin' Curves. I freaking hate mascara names. I think they're so corny. And this is like the weirdest brush. Oh, it's called a Broken Heart Brush. <laughs> okay, I just think that's so weird. But okay. Um, yeah, so it's like it's almost like like someone sat on your mascara brush and it bent it in a weird angle. I can't get over how funny that is. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. That I've seen commercials for it and I was like, hmm, I'm always down to try a new mascara. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh my god. Broken heart mascara. Yeah, because when you have a broken heart, that's exactly what you want to do. Load your eyes with mascara so you can cry and it can run all down your face. Yeah. Hey. NYX also had buy one get one half off and um, I recently did a look, a tutorial, I hate, I don't like the word tutorial. I usually, I recently did a makeup look inspired by Estee Haim and she wears a matte orange eyeshadow which at first I was like what? That's crazy. But I used a MAC blush that I had because I didn't have a matte orange eyeshadow because knowing me I would never wear one of those so I never bought one. 
anyway, I did the look and it turns out I freaking loved it. I think it looks really cool and unique. And so I picked up a matte orange eyeshadow in LOL. God. It's like one of my least favorite terms of social media contact, but the color's really nice. It's like I said, a matte orange. It's kind of bright, but um, in the pot, but on the skin, it's pretty, it lightens down. It's not as bright in a good way. It wouldn't be super obnoxious on your eyeball. I went for a jumbo eye pencil from NYX, which I love these things. I think they make really good bases under colors, and they also are just really nice for every day if you're in a hurry. You can just throw, like, color it on your eye, and it looks really good. I went for the color Rust, which I had never seen before. I don't know if that's a new color. I have a lot of the neutral colors. This one's more of a burgundy, which I think will be really, really pretty for fall, and I'm really excited. It's really pretty. And it's unique. I don't see a lot of colors just like that. I picked up two Revlon lip products. Um, I love the Revlon. I think they're just the Revlon. Oh, they're called the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick. I have a couple and I really, really like them. So I picked up this color, Cherries in the... S oh, thought I dropped it. Cherries in the Snow, which is... I thought was like a nice red red, like a classic red, but it's actually like a hot pink red. It leans definitely more towards the pink. This was really expensive, which is really, I think it was $10, which is kind of ridiculous, but it's the Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain. I've heard a lot about these. I'm pretty sure they're the, they're like ripoffs of YSL, the YSL ones, which I've never tried. I just haven't got around to it. And I got the color, um, Paris, what is this? Parisian Passion. Ooh. And it's a really dark, uh, burgundy. I call it the Lord lip color. That's what a lot of my, if I wear dark lip, that's what all my friends refer to it as. They're like, oh, you're wearing the Lord lipstick. Because she pretty much rocks this all the time and looks amazing. So, um, I haven't played around with this enough yet to tell you whether or not I love it, but I have high hopes. High hopes. So I stopped inside of Walgreens to pick up a prescription, and naturally, to get back to the pharmacy, you have to walk through the whole store. Brilliant marketing. Um, so I usually take the beauty way, the makeup, where all the makeup is. I like to take that hallway because, you know, I like to see what's out there. And I walked by the little section where, my Walgreens has a little, like, section when you first walk in. It's, like, all the new makeup. And these little babies were there. And they are Wet n Wild's, um, ooh, dropped one. Uh, Wet n Wild released, I think, four, maybe five, uh, limited edition fall palettes, and they're five pans, which is kind of different. Usually, they're either six, is it eight, or three. I know the three is the smallest. I think they do it eight or six. I don't really remember, because I only own one of those. But anyway, um, these colors are, like, so pretty, and they're really, really gorgeous. I did a big swatch and review of them on my blog. I will link that below, but yeah, I think these are great, and they're limited edition, so they'll probably be gone quick. I'd go check those out. Next to them was this one, which also said it says limited edition on the back. Um, Sunset to Sea is what it's called, and it has like vanilla and a chocolate, and then another matte orange. I said I never thought in my life I'd like matte orange, and now I got two matte orange eyeshadows in a span of like a week. I went a little crazy on bathandbodyworks.com. Um, they were just having a huge fall sale. Like, candles were on sale, which, let's be real, fall candles from Bath and Body Works are like my kryptonite. I freaking love them. I'm burning one right now in the back. That'd be leaves, which might be my favorite one of all time. It was time to get some scent going on in my car. Okay, so I got this really cute owl. Oh my god, how cute! Okay, so I really like owls. I always have for, like, ever because I love Harry Potter and I've always wanted an owl and I just think they're really cool. And then they became, like, a thing a couple years ago. <laughs> so now I get owls all the time as gifts, which I love because I really like owls. But this is the first owl I may have ever bought myself. So it's so cute. I'm usually not, like, a glitzy person, but I think the rhinestones are pretty subtle. So, and it has a back, and it's called a scent portable. Okay, so it has a back. And that's where you pop these little tabs in, I'm guessing. You get these little tabs, and they make them in like a million different scents. And then you just like pop, do you pop that in there? Oh no. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, this is like a thing. So somehow it has to go in the belly 
of the owl. Okay, I'll figure that out another time. Anyway, these were buy three, get one free, and I think the owl itself was $5.50. Okay, a little pricey, but this will, I mean, it's plastic. It'll last forever. That's just these you have to buy. And these were on sale. So I bought some. I got uh, mahogany teakwood. I got flannel and pumpkin cupcake and leaves. Now onto the good stuff, three wick candles. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with these. First one I picked up is pumpkin caramel latte. Again, I've tried this one before. It smells just like what it says. If you went to a coffee shop, I guess this is like your PSL candle. It's maybe not as spicy as a PSL. It's a lot sweeter smelling. Vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, which I think is a new it's fall. It smells a lot like sugar cookie from their winter collection. So, I don't know. I'm not super overjoyed. Okay, this one I was really excited to try. It's vanilla chai, which I'm obsessed with chai tea, and vanilla chai is awesome. However, this is not how I thought it was going to smell. Um, not like the chai I make or get from Starbucks or anything, but I don't know. It almost smells like um, pine. So, hopefully it'll burn. Sometimes they burn different than they smell dry. Let's hope that one does, because it kind of smells freaking weird. Another new one I've never tried is Tailgate, which I just thought this was so cute with the football. I really like football, so. It smells like outdoors. Let's read the scent description. These help sometimes. Um, dark cedarwood, sage, and a touch of soft musk. Okay, that's a weird description. At least the soft musk, but that's pretty much what it smells like. It smells like an outdoor a day outdoors. Like Thanksgiving. I'm like smelling these way too much. But yeah, and then they have this really nice detail. This really nice detail on the on the top. Some of them do, not all of them. But this one did, and I just think that's so nice. And then I had to pick up another leaves. Um, oh, oh, weird. I'm burning leaves right now, and this one smells a lot more like apple-y. Again, I think they just burn a little different, but this is by far my favorite one, and it says it's Golden Nectar, Red Apple, and Spiced Berry. Hopefully this one will burn different. I mean, I don't not like this. It's just really strong apple scent off this, so we'll see. Okay, well, that's all I got for my big fall haul. Sorry, my hand's really freaking out there. But yeah, I got a bunch of stuff I'm pretty excited about. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment below telling me what your purchasing this fall. I'm always interested to see what people are buying. If you're buying lipsticks or candles like me. If there, if you think there's a scent of a three-wit candle that I should try, let me know because I'm always on the hunt for new scents. And they're always on sale this time of year. I feel like a lot, so that's exciting. But yeah, um, subscribe if you like this. More videos are on their way. Thanks for watching.